Hey, my sisters. I just want to talk tonight on it because, oh, y'all, come on in, y'all. And so look here, we don't have no agenda today. You know what? Sometimes we just want to sit at the table and talk. And that's what my mind is. Okay? Look here. This is what we're going to do. Just talk. <laughs> yeah, no agenda. Okay? So look here. Come on in. <laughs> Bring your drinks tonight. Your smokes. Whatever you're puffing on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look here. Salud. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, look, I just want to sit and talk. That's all. And then I was thinking like, you know what? Let's just eat something, right? <sighs> Cheers. Oh, y'all. This is so freaking good. This is uh, a rendition of Jamaica Rum Punch. So I'm going to tell y'all what I, I put in. It, it tastes so good. So I have um, white rum, spice rum. I have mango pineapple rum. I have coconut rum. I have pineapple juice. I have orange juice. I have real lime juice. I have pineapple juice. And I have some grenadine. Yeah, this is my second one. This shit will sneak up on you, but it is so good. It was better than the first one because Nick Nick can't do the coconut. But look here, y'all. I'm going to be selfish, okay? This is mine. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, toast. What y'all Saturday is looking like? Y'all, I had a long day. I was traveling around Houston. And, uh, you know, y'all already know my wilderness from my mother. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we got the same dip. Uh, you, you know, we got Sharika B. Uh -huh. And we got the Thai um, dipping sauce for the sticky rice, y'all. You know, the other day when I did the video, you know, that's the, it was hot. Too many. I don't know what it's going to be. The dance is probably going to blow my head off, right? Mm. That's good. Mm. Sharika B. sauce the next day. It, it's... It, <clears throat> yeah, spicy, <laughs> but it's so good. Y'all look here. I don't, I'm just gonna talk. I don't have no bag, y'all. So look, we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to do some uh, pep talks for my shells. Yeah, that rum, that rum, uh, Jamaican rum punch is bomb. I mean, yeah, it's good. Oh, so y'all, look here. I know we're just talking, but look, please, have some. Take what you that bowl hot. <laughs> that bowl is hot. I just want to talk just for nothing. Now, my mama, my mama, I'm counting y'all from, from 10, right? The first stop was Betty Loud. I wanted to take her something that I bought her. As I was going to the liquor store down right down the street from Mother's, she called me. She brought me back, y'all, from that wilderness. Man, I was like, look here, lady, do what you got to do. She tried to bully you with what she had for you. Now, you know I love her garden, right? So last weekend... Because I wanted just a low, laying low weekend. I told her I'm not coming. So she had some squash. Squash. Mm -hmm. So when she called me today, she said, Well, if you're not going to come get your squash today, I'm going to throw it in the garbage. Ooh. Ooh. That's what she was doing, you know, back in the day. Like, when she was... Working at J.C. Penny or Dillard's, and you know when you know when you work there, you have uh, sales and your your employee discount. I used to buy things for my children, and if I didn't come and see her, you know, like she wanted, she'll call me and say, "Well, I'm I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a take it back to the store. I'm gonna give it to somebody else." 
Do what the hell you want to do, lady. You are not going to bully me. You don't even know where I am. I told you I was running errands, and I was, but I was right down the street. But you want to bully me? To tell me you're going to throw the vegetables away? Come on, lady. I'm 57. I don't have to take it. My counsel said, you, you know, five negative things walk away because set your boundaries with your mother because you don't have to take it. Oh, yeah. When I did get to her house, my, my, my psyche was bad. I had an attitude. And when she opened that door, she said, hey. I said, you know what? You just mean and ugly. And she just went to a whole nother subject, y'all. She didn't even. So I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all what I did. She was telling me something about some children of her friends. And she said, well, you know, you grew up with them. I said, grow up, with, grow up with who? You remember, you put me out at 13. I didn't grow up with anybody. Let me tell you what that lady did. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about my mother. She got up and, and left the room. My counsel told me, on Wednesday, I had a meeting Wednesday, I think. Tuesday I went. It was Wednesday. I had another session. And she said, Juanita, do you ever tell your mama what you went through? I said, I've never had a chance. When God told me to go forgive her, he didn't tell me to tell her that, even though I wanted to, but it was not the time. She said, when it feels right, bring things up. And today was the perfect setting with when she said, you know, you grew up with them. But you know, y'all, she shut me down. She walked away. Oh, that sauce is hot. Hey y'all. Yeah, I know y'all like it. It's spicy. For you for you for you spicy people. Mm-hmm. So mm. Mm. So she don't wanna hear it. I, I you know I'm this is what I'm thinking. So I'm wondering when she's by herself. Do she think about what she did to her children? You know, because when she said, uh, well, Benita, you told me you was coming. I said, no, I said I would be probably, probably it's, it's not I'm coming. It's a maybe. I said, you keep badgering me. I'm the only one that come and see you. You got five children. Y'all, I'm just in a in a in a in a space cause cause she, she did it. You know. You have to love your, your parents regardless, you know. Because you only have them once in a lifetime. But once you get comfortable with my mother, she she just gets back to that ugly negative stuff, man. Oh, and the reason I still went because I had something for her, and I wanted her to have it. But when I left. I said, I don't know when I'm coming back. Don't look for me. But you know, my conscience, y'all. Y'all. I probably should have set a timer. 
I'm sorry, y'all. Wait a minute. But you know, I just want to talk, you know. Sometimes you just got to talk it out, you know. You got to talk it through, you know. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm belching. Oh, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> you know, I just needed to come to the table tonight. Just... You know, <clears throat> I know it's probably too late uh, for me to say what I'm about to say. All I wanted in my life was love, you know? From a parent. That's all I wanted. You know, and it's amazing I'm 57 and I'm still looking for it. <laughs> I'm still looking for love from my from my from my mama, you know. Because my daddy is gone. It's amazing, y'all. Pray for your hood, girl. She just really made me mad today. That's all, y'all. And I was sitting on the sofa and I was thinking, you know what? I have somebody to talk to. Because when you live alone, you have God all day, every day. Sometimes you just need a human, you know. So thank y'all for listening to me. I just want my mama to love me without an agenda, you know. I don't believe, you know, it's too late. Because I forgave her and I keep going back. You know, and I don't know, y'all. I don't know everything. Mm. Mm. Y'all, that corn so good. It fell out my hand. Don't eat me. Up. That's good. <clears throat> that should be could be got some good salt. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. <clears throat> That's good. Y'all, I know I'm probably eating raggedy. I don't care. I just need to talk. So, I'm going to put some space between me and mom. I'm not going to go. I try to see my mother every other weekend. But she's getting too comfortable now since I'm back. And I'm the only one that go and see her pretty much. But she's getting too comfortable, y'all. She, she treat me. The same way that she treated me when I was young. Well, I'm I'm an old woman. Well, I'm an older woman. I don't have to accept that. Okay, counseling is good as well, y'all. I really have a new counselor. We had three sessions, and I like it. I like talking it out with somebody else. You know, they don't they don't know anything about me. You know, I 
And so, she actually told me, because the first counsel I had, uh, she was good as well. She the one that, that taught me how to set a boundary with my mother. She really did. And she the one that said, set your boundaries. You don't have to take it. She said five times. When she gets to five times of ugly things, leave. But my new counselor, because we had new insurance, so I had to change counselors. She said three, Juanita. She said because the beating that you're getting on your project, she said it opened up your wounds. I hear your, I hear your sadness. I hear your pain, and you you're 57 and it still affects you. Don't give her five times with negativity. Give her three. Leave. You don't have to go through it. But for the love. Mm, that God taught me. I struggle with that, y'all. Because I love my mother. I just don't like what she do. I'm not going to cry. Y'all see, I, I mean, I'm trying to hold my tears back. Because this is not what it's supposed to be. I just want to talk. You know? I don't know how to. I just don't know how to. I don't know how to stop it, you know? I don't know. I said, getting older, y'all. That corn is born. And her memory is not, you know, the same. She gets up very slowly as well. And she need at least one of us, you know. I just don't know. I know God uh, going to take me through it. That's for sure. I know he is, you know. But she needs somebody, yeah. None of her children call her. None of them. My sister do it every now and again. And none of her boys, you know. You know, I, I asked her if she wanted to me to pick her up. Because, you know, we're going to David House for Labor Day, you know. Everybody, my sister, her husband, me, everybody is coming, my other son. And I invited her, like we always do. I volunteered to pick her up and take her home, you know. She said, you know, I don't go to nobody's house. We just not nobody, mama. We are your children. That hurts. I've been back here for now almost two years. I've invited my mom to my beautiful apartment by this water. Ever since I came back, y'all, she will not come. And when, when we don't go to her house, she say. Like, she used that y'all don't ever. Yeah, we do. We just didn't do it this time, woman. So y'all, I'm struggling with the with the holidays coming, right? And I'm talking, I'm talking out with my sister as well. And uh, you know, I struggle because if nobody else is going to mom, I, I feel like I have to do it, right? So he, you know, we got Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm struggling. Because they not gonna, everybody ain't going to be at mama's house, you know, on Christmas. 
We might be there on Thanksgiving, but we're not going to be there on Christmas. We sure are never going to do a dinner at their new house, and everybody's going to be at their new house, and I invited her again. Mom, you got to come. She said, I'm not going to nobody's house and sit around. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, baby, but you're going to be sitting at your house by yourself. You got a family who wants you there. You never came to our house. Never, ever. Do something different. But if we pass away before you, you're going to be at our funeral. Why you just can't come to our house and live with us and have fun with us? Oh, God, I didn't want to do that, y'all. But it, is, it hurts. You know, and every time I go to Mother House, she always cooks for me. But I was so distraught with what she did to me on my way there. I didn't even eat her food today. <clears throat> and by the way, y'all, these sauces are bomb the next day. <sighs> Look how thick this sauce is, y'all. Can y'all see it? Look how thick it is. The next day. Is my makeup streaking, y'all? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> I'm a mother. Every time my baby say, Mama, we need you here. Let me tell you what I do. I shut down my house. I get in my car. And I drive to my children. That's what I do. That's what a mother does. Cheers. My children can't, can't ever think that I don't love them, you know? My middle son called me screaming in my ear because of them girls he messed with. But you know, I'm a mother. And when he does that, I don't say nothing. I just give him my ears because he just needs me to listen. You know, I've never had anybody like, well, I had people that, that, that took care of me. Yeah, I'm not going to go through my wilderness stuff right now, but I've always wanted the mothers that I can talk to about my cycle, you know, about the first boy that broke my heart, you know. Relationships, how to clean your body, you know, how to dress well. I just always wanted a mother that I can always go to and talk, and I've never had it. And that now I was thinking, because now I'm older, and I, I thought she was changing. I was like, okay, this is my time just to get in there and love my mother, and, and she'll love me now, and then she don't. <laughs> I 
Okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and sign out because it's starting to affect me more than I thought it was. So look here. I just wanted to come and talk it out, y'all. So pray for me, please. Whew. Okay, so look here. Whatever you're doing, do it good. And please do it with love. Love really does cover a multitude of sin. I want my mama to know that as well. So pray for my mom. Okay, y'all. Let's sing ourselves out. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. I love y'all, and there's nothing you can do about it. Thank you so much for coming back. Let's say goodbye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.